Okay, moving on then into the interior. Uh, electric windows all round, four electric windows. Leather seats with uh, cream and grey. Uh, two Isofix seats for child seats. Airbags, a good sprinkling of airbags. Look like there's ten airbags. Uh, Centre armrest. Three headrests. Little ski hatch. Uh, speakers in the back there. Has the original supplying sticker in the back of the window still. Uh, good seats, nice condition, no horrible odours or smells. Cup holders in the back there as well, ventilation, map pockets in the back of the seats, and they're in pretty good order. And the seats are in pretty good order, no, nothing to worry about there, all good. And the door cards are pretty spot on as well for a 06 Reg car, well, 2005. So moving up to the front here, we have got electric mirrors. That's the ignition key in the centre there. I'm going to turn that on and start her up just so you can uh, hear her start. So all the lights are going out as they should. I must have a word with that balloter, just see if we can clean these things properly at some point. But there we go. That's just a little bit of muck maps on those door cards. So electric windows, they're all working there. One touch with tinted glass. All working fine. Okay, four electric windows, and the rear one behind me is working good. The temperature gauge, the fuel gauge, all that's working good. 161,074 miles, look at that. Lovely steering wheel, fingertip control steering wheel with paddle shift on here, plus and minus on the steering wheel. Maybe I'll just show you that up close. Cruise control on the uh, car as well, fingertip control for the stereo system. This will have a five, uh, I think this has got six speed auto actually, yes, a six speed auto. Auxiliary input in the uh, centre console there with the cigarette lighter. No, just sorry, 12 volt power supply. Handbrake feels good and not too much travel there. Pedal rubbers are all in spot on order. And as I say, driven for 20 miles, nice and quick as well, very uh, agile on the road. We've also got a nav system here built in. Lovely aircon system, all working fine, and a, I think that's a six disc CD changer. And uh, the best cult cup holder in the business, wait for it. Look at that, that's well, that's that's design for you, isn't it? Just go again. Oh, 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 lovely. Okay, uh, navigation system, CD, let's put on navigation, just make sure that's working there, except uh, view map. It's all showing that, okay. Um, scroll map the uh, car position anyway that's all working all right in the glove compartment we've got uh, owner's manuals tax disc holder but the oldest owner's manuals are all there just as you'd expect the passenger seats in good order as well okay and the driver's one's in pretty good order as well actually but uh do we have a phone kit? There's a, there's a SIM card insert somewhere, I'm not sure where that'll be. And up there we've got a driver's information panel as well. It tells you radio station, your clock, etc. So somewhere along the line there'll be a SIM input, so uh, I want to check with um, Saab to see where that goes. Um, it might be in the machine just underneath there, but there is also, uh, I noticed, there was a um, WAP browser as well, so not only has it got uh, address book, navigation, it's also got a WAP browser as well. Yeah, so the phone should work. Haven't tested that, but the nav's all working fine. I'll just show you the driver's seat. Even at 161,000 miles, that's not in too bad condition, is it really? Look, and they're renowned for comfort. Just a little bit of squashing to the there, but there's no rips or tears. And there's a light bit of damage to the plastics here and there, but uh, still a nice place to be inside. Well, there we go then. So that's the Saab 93 four door saloon Vector Sport 1.9 turbo diesel, 150 brake auto. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Okay, here we go then with the uh, documents and service records then for the Saab 93 auto. Shows just two keepers from new, a private keeper and what looks like a, a business owner in Bristol and in Reading. So it's been a local car and then up to Reading and back to Bath. Uh, right, Private Keeper's had it since 2006 January, which is good news. That's uh, almost six plus, what, three, nine years of ownership. It's a 93 Vector Sport TID Auto. 
and with four doors and diesel car and 189 grams per kilometer which equates to 143 or 260 pounds per tax uh, four tax per annum 260 per year um, all that is HPI clear and out, no outstanding finance no adverse claims etc the MOT is the 1st of December 2013 and that was at 150,000 miles and there were no advisories look at that excellent excellent uh, there is only just one key I'm afraid always try writing to the previous owner see if you had the key um, and the service book is nicely stamped up with the supplying dealer uh, with the PDI and then mileage of 18,000 for the first stamp then again at 34,000 then again at 52,000 and these are main dealer Saab uh, Reading uh, then again at 74,000 95,000 Bosch Service Centre uh, 113,000 in, in November 2010 131,000 in November 2011 a Saab Specialist uh, 26th of the 10th, sorry, 26th of the 10th, 2012, at 148,000 miles. So not that long ago serviced, and plenty of stamps to go in the book. So a service record with the owner's manuals. Nice car, actually. Drives really well. A little bit of uh, play in the front suspension, uh, but uh, we'll see whether that will come up on the MOT. But uh, bar for that, the performance is really quite breathtaking. It does drive very well. So we'll leave you with that shot, uh, and then back to the car. Hello and good morning, I'm Neil from Bath Cars and today's car is the Saab 93 4 door saloon this one in an Atlantic type metallic blue colour automatic Vector Sport 1.9 TDI 150 brake horsepower and uh, boy has it got it, it does shift actually it's got a decent performance this car running spot on in performance terms uh, full, uh, electric, um, what am I on about? Parking sensors to the rear, park assist, assist that do work they beep as you get closer to the object behind you uh, the original supplying dealer's number plates are fitted to the car here, St. David's of Ex uh, of Exeter, and the rear sticker on the back there as well. Engine sounds perfect, driven for 20 miles by myself, and it drives really spot on. It's had a clean, and about the bodywork, it's pretty straight and tidy, actually. I don't think there's any marks to speak of down that side. Even the bonnet doesn't look very stone-chipped. A bit minor. Front fogs. Ordinary headlights, no Zenons to worry about. Alloys are a bit scuffed here and there. That one's looking a bit better. Let's run around the tyres. That's a Continental tyre on a 225-45 R17. And he's about just a bit better than half... Well, about half-worn. Let's go for half-worn. This one here, a bit worse than half-worn. Sat badge. Sat badge is just coloured slightly on the front there. This one here is... What makes this? Yokohama. He's not got long for this world really on its uh, wear bar, needs a tyre there, and this one here is practically new. So we need a tyre on the back, a 225, I might have one in stock actually, a 225, 225 45R17, I might have a new one of those. There's the interior, and we'll come to that a bit later on after the documents, etc. So I'll just pop the boot so you can see what we've got in the boot space, electronic boot release, there's some carpet mats here. Although they're a bit grubby. Storage spaces. Saab navigation system with a CD in there as well. There should be a SIM card slot somewhere on this car so you can pop your SIM in. Skinny spare wheel. We do have a locking wheel nut for the car, which is there. So your locking wheel nut is there as well. The rear seats fold down. So even though it's a saloon, you can pop the rear seats down. Diesel filler cap. Alloys could do with a little bit of brightening up, maybe a polish. This is slightly discoloured around here. But this is a cheap car, you know, there's not a lot. This isn't a, an expensive car. A 55 plate car with new plates will be fitted. And let's go and have a look at the documents and history that we've got for it. So bear with.